Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoanti, and today uh, I'm just going to tell a story about how I was able to cop the Yeezy 350 Boost online. I truly didn't think I'd have a shot at it just because I know how hard it's been. And honestly, with, with some of the other 350 Boosts, I half-heartedly tried. I didn't like go full commitment just because it's so hard. Uh, I started off by just hopping on like East Bay, and I was doing the whole like... All right, I got to the next page. Then I got to the page where I click on the boost, and then it kicks me back to the, like, hey, this room is crowded. Click to come back in. I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I kept doing that, and I was like, you know what? This is, this is, I'm going in circles. East Bay had not tweeted they were sold out, but I just, you can only go in circles for so long, and it's, it's very frustrating. I get how people get mad, and that's why on, like, the Turtle Doves and the Moon Rocks and the Pirate Blacks, you know, on my Saturday, in the middle of the summer, I didn't want to spend three hours you know, wasting my day when I could be at the beach trying to get the Yeezys. Yeah, it, it sucks. That's what you have to do if you want them. Um, you know, sometimes you get lucky and get through, but I just don't want to put in that time. So I, I was like, you know what? I'm done with East Bay. I'm going to wait for the Adidas drop. Adidas said it was going to be at a random time. So around, you know, I just kept my eye on Twitter and I kept my eye on Adidas' page, just refreshing it. And around like 11, I had a meeting at work. So I was like... Oh, hopefully they don't drop at 11 and sure enough they do so I go into the meeting at work and I have my phone on me and kind of before the meeting starts I was like I'm gonna open up Adidas site and just go to like the Yeezy page to see what it looks like on mobile so I click click you know Yeezy I search Yeezy and all of a sudden just at about 1103 automatically pops up you're now waiting in line I was like whoa whoa from the time that I walked from my desk to my meeting did they drop? So then I checked Twitter real quick and I saw Soul Collector tweeted that they were now live. So I was like, crap. There was a th probably about a three minute window where it went live and I'm probably three minutes behind where, you know, that's a lot of traffic that could have gone in before me. So I said, I'm just going to leave my, I put my brightness, my brightness all the way down and then I just left it so my phone wouldn't uh, turn off. I just had it up upwards so my screen wouldn't lock and it would just continue, the wheel continued to spin. I wasn't on Wi-Fi, I was on LTE and I was like maybe sneaky like being on mobile will help so 30 minutes go by, go by meetings over i walk back to my desk and i'm still looking at it i'm like all right it's still in line so i'm like i'm just gonna leave it i'm just gonna leave it and like pretend it's not there and about about maybe about 11 35 i look down and it's like select your size i'm like holy shit so i select select my size i add to cart and it's like check out i'm like okay i'm like wait i'm like Come on, cart jack me, kick me out. What's going on? This shouldn't be happening. Enter my cart information. Boom, got him. I was checked out within a minute and 30 seconds. And I was just like, I was like, is this, is this a prank? Like, how was that so easy? Because then I, I, you know, messaged a couple of the guys, T. Blake, Jason Donner, Eddie Wynn, and they're all like, we're struggling. I checked, like, has kicks. Everyone's like, I can't get through. Jacques couldn't even get to the uh, page where you, you drop down. So it was very chaotic, and I'm thinking, what did I do that was so special? So then I kind of checked on my computer, too, and I, even on my computer, I eventually was able to get select a size and add to cart but then it ended up like cart jacking it so i don't know if there's any rhyme or reason i i just it's too frustrating but maybe just to keep in mind mobile and lte worked for me don't know why i'm very excited to get uh the 350s in i've heard great things uh brandon edler's telling me he's like dude you're gonna be obsessed so i'm uh i'm excited just to wear them i actually sneaky though another sneaky thing is i want to see if anyone will trade me their turtle doves size eight and a half for my Oxford tans, let me know, and possibly the Moon Rocks. So if you have any other Yeezys, eight and a half, tweet me. Uh, so that's the Yeezy story. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will talk to you uh, on the next video. Take care. Peace. Go.